December 3rd. Season 4. Enlightenment. Hope you're ready. What's going on, chat? And what's this? <laughs> so we also have a new map event, chat. One of the new map events is called The Butcher. It's the Butcher map event. And so basically, the way that this map event works is the Butcher can't be killed. He's invulnerable. And if you look at my feet... Splash damage, right? Yep. Yeah, they got splash. Kick has splash damage, just like other things do. Where's the orb from? That's from the Chaos uh, weapon. With Tiger Strike. Tiger Strike now gains an additional break point for melee splash on its second charge and a second break point on its third charge. So if you if you're playing a Tiger Strike sin, you'll you'll make a bigger splash on second charge and an even larger splash on your third charge. You could essentially attack twice with Tiger Strike. So one attack. And then we could use Whirlwind to have increased melee splash range. And that's totally possible because I'm currently running two charges. And I now have larger melee splash radius on my Whirlwind. And then as long as I keep up those two charges, then yeah, I have increased splash radius. Same with kicks. Uh, kicks expend charges, so you couldn't technically do it with a kick. So we generate one with our Tiger Strike, and then we can Zeal. And we have larger radius with our Zeal as well. You can see the splash radius is pretty large. So another change we made, chat, is Blade Sentinel. Uh, Blade Sentinel actually uses Pierce now. So if you have Fizz Pierce, um, stuff like that, it functions like other traps. So it gains half efficiency, just like other traps would. Shockwave also gains an additional Shockwave every five levels now. And obviously I have no FCR, right? Because I'm just playing a naked build. <laughs> and another thing that gains melee splash radius is bear form. So where bear form naturally has 20% increased splash radius or one breakpoint. This also applies to anyone using Beast Rune Word to shapeshift into a druid. So if you're playing an enchant bear sork, you will also have increased melee splash radius. And you just kind of get annoyed dealing with them because your mule's all full, full of jewels, right? Well, what if you could just break them down Fragments. <laughs> so, to 
compensate. Holy Shield now has synergies and the level 22 plus scaling of Holy Shield has been improved. Somebody still has knockback? Yep. So we also actually buffed Fortitude. Uh, Fortitude was 200 ED in a previous season. It's now 250 to 300 ED in the upcoming season. A little sneaky Fort ED buff due to the DS nerf. Yeah. Does Decoy scale off your IS? No. Decoy is um, its own little AI. So this is a decoy Valk summons on. Oh my god, is that improved Valk AI? Damn, you noticed fast, eh? You noticed fast. So chat, Valkyries, decoys, and Shadow Masters have all had their AI improved. Man, that guy noticed quick. Yeah, they've had their AI improved. You noticed really quick, I'm kind of impressed. I was a summoner's on last season, the AI was brutal. Yeah, you noticed it quick, I was, I'm impressed. <laughs> Percent damage reduction when you teleport for 0.5 seconds, which is two casts. Um, and it would, that, that debuff would go down by 1% per level. So 50, 49, 48, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, it now goes down by two percent per level this season. So if you max out teleport, you only get a ten percent damage debuff. So we're gonna give this a go for a season. Hard, bu hard buff points only? Correct. Nova Sork buff? Yeah, it buffs Nova Sorks for sure. <laughs> 